So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover another amazing lab that is enhancing user interactivity with looker in liquid. So first of all click on start lab and open the looker incognito window. Now if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel. So let's get started. Basically here first step is entering the credentials so check the lab for it and then hit login. So let me show you how you will do. So now here enter the details, click on login. Now here the first step is that you may face that you won't be able to modify the file. Why? Because for that we need to enable the development mode. As you can see at the top, I mean the bottom, here is the development mode. So first of all wait for the looker to open, then we will enable this. Basically here you have to just click on this toggle. Let me show you wait for a moment so finally the page is fully loaded now here we have to enable the development mode here you have to just click on it and the page will reload itself and you'll be able to see you are in the development mode now we have to modify some files so for that just follow the way i'm doing now what you need to do is that go to develop and then click on quick labs e-commerce now in the description box of this video i've shared one repository we will be using that for modification of this file but make sure to follow the way i'm doing so first of all let's update the user view file so again go back to the looker and from here wait for the page to fully load now click on this view scroll down as you can see users view click on it just double click on it and we'll be modifying this file only so if you haven't checked the channel for more skill badges and labs do check it and let's move to the lab itself now click on it and replace the entire contents and just paste over here and save changes so you have to just paste this content from the github repo and now again we have to update the order items file so click on it replace the entire content Control a backspace or just control a and then paste once you have copied from the github repo now scroll down a bit wait a moment what's we have to update the products views can open the products view from here replace the entire content and just paste over here now click on save changes finally the file has been saved now we have to update one more file let me show you that is the model file so copy the content from here click on the models training e-commerce just replace the entire content i hope you know how to replace and paste basically these are the basic steps so now you have to just save it and then we'll move forward to the next step of this lab now if you're new to this channel and haven't checked this channel do check it and for skill budget check the description now click on save changes validate look ml and we have to just commit to production I mean commit and push changes so you can type any message just type any message and just click on commit and after that just hit deploy to production so now this part has been done now what you need to do you have to open this looker three times on new tab basically we have to do one step for that the data has been already loaded you need not to worry what you need to do from here click on this explore and under order items just order items open it now here i have created three tasks i will show you no need to worry about it now again on the second tab just go again to explore order items right click open in new tab make sure three tabs are open already for order items i hope you understand now click on one just click over here and for second also second tab and then third tab now what you need to do wait for these data to get load and once it's done we'll be getting full score without any issue so just wait so after that just view all the look that whether the data has been loaded or not because the status were running now we'll move forward to the lab instructions and hit check my progress folder task and see whether we get full score or not so sometimes it may take time so wait for it 
now after waiting for one to two minutes i got this code sometimes you may need to wait for at least three minutes and then i check my progress if you face any issue do let me know in the comments and thank you guys have a great day ahead do like the video and if you need any other lab do comment down below have a great day ahead